All right, hello and welcome. Hey, so uh, we're gonna be doing another video. This will be a Toxic Cup tournament, and this is actually a local tournament. Um, we're gonna be sent the invite right now to go ahead and prepare for game one. And uh, this is for, so basically there's a ton of ability to do like remote tournaments all over the place, but this is just gonna be one um, we're doing locally because of the coronavirus. So we're doing it like remotely rather than in person. And uh, this is a tournament that I chose to wait, so I'm hoping that I win. It's going to be four rounds, and this is round one. Um, I can see this is an interesting team. I think the Ludicolo has bubble with, like, Ice Beam and, I don't know, some other move. Um, the rest of these probably seem like pretty standard move sets. I think the Tentacruel's probably running Poison Jab. Potentially, well, it's probably Poison Jab, Hydro Pump, and then maybe, like, Blizzard or... Sludge Wave, or even Acid Spray. Um, so, tricky there. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. I think Shiftry is really good against Beeberl, uh, Ludicolo, even Flygon, um, and uh, and definitely Steelix. So, Ludic uh, so Shiftry is going to be like a monster. Um, I can even do neutral damage to Tentacruel. I'll be taking super effective, but I can just spam out Leaf Blades like crazy. So, it, it, it looks fine. Like, Shiftry looks great. So I like Shiftry. Um, I really don't like most of my picks versus Toxicroak. Heracross comes to mind as something that, like, might be okay. Like, it might be ki kind of decent. So I'm sort of debating on maybe Heracross. Definitely Golbat. I think Golbat is really, really solid here. There's not a whole lot that my uh, opponent has that Golbat can't deal with. Um... Like, I'm kind of thinking of potentially, like, B-Barrel and Steelix. So I think Steelix, like, almost has to come through. Um, I'm just going to get rid of that for now. And, um, yeah. Wow, I just, the game keeps giving me notifications besides the invite I know that already got sent. And, like, at some point, the game is actually going to just send me The invite. Maybe. This is the worst. Like, Niantic really just needs to, like, put those invites to the fucking forefront of the game. Um, I'm just going to try and send it, I think. I think that's probably a better decision. Um... It's not working. I'll send instead. All right. Cool. So uh, we're just going to try that instead. So, all right. So let's jump on over. Um, I think the Heracross is okay <clears throat> versus, honestly, most of these picks. Wow. Heracross is kind of a monster. The only one he really struggles with is Tentacruel. If I just run Heracross and Golbat and Shiftry... I think I have two answers for Toxicroak, which is likely. I have two answers for Steelix, which is likely. And then most of them just run over the other picks. So, yeah, seems good. Um, what do I want to lead with? I kind of like tossing in the Shiftry in in response. And then if the Toxicroak switches in and fights it, I'll probably get a shield. I'll die. And then I'll have the Golbat follow up. So I'm kind of thinking of a Golbat lead. But something tells me that they're actually going to lead Steelix for some reason. Hmm. Yeah. Yep. We're just going to go hair across. We're going to see how it goes. This could be bad. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, and then, yeah, I intend to switch into Shiftry if I need to. If, uh, yeah. So that's why I didn't like leading Golbat is because I felt like they weren't leading Toxicroak. We're doing a wicked amount of damage. Ludicolo. Uh, we're going to Megahorn here, actually. That should do a ton of extra damage. And then there's been a decent amount of bubbles that came through, which is going to be threatening from... Ooh, okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. That seems good. That seems like a good result. Hey. Um. Okay. I was trying to keep track of the energy there, but... Oh, no. 
So this Toxicroak has Mud Bomb and is actually very close to it. I probably, I expect this to maybe even be a CMP tie. Yeah, one more and then the Mud Bomb. Okay, cool. So uh, we're gonna let this go through. We got the shield, we got, so Heracross did a lot of work. It got a shield. It didn't use a shield, but it got one and it got rid of an entire Pokemon. So at this point, we can go ahead and toss the Golbat in. The Golbat resists everything that Toxicroak has to offer, so we're just gonna farm it down with Wing Attack. No sense in actually firing any charge moves at all. Um, we are, I think we're, we don't need a shield, so we'll just keep kind of trucking along. And then uh, against the B-Barrel here, we will just spam Poison Fangs until it dies. That seems like a good uh, answer to it. Actually, what I kind of want to do is swap Shiftry in to tank the Surf. And then to, um, I guess it could be a Hyper Fang. But yeah, anyways, uh, let's get that Leaf Blade off and uh, call it a GG first round. So yeah, we won the lead there. And I think our team kind of has like some very strong matchups versus my opponent's team. So um, it, yeah, it just, it just kind of seemed like kind of a dominant first match um, because like our team just stacks up really, really well. I think there's some holes in our opponent's team that I'm not, I'm not sure like if I chose like a more meta, like I know my team's weird. So if I chose a more meta team, I'm not sure if the enemy team would still have holes in it or if it's kind of like an anti meta team. And then our team is kind of like, over here, so it doesn't really get anti'd. Um, it's the anti-anti-meta. I don't know. Um, but, yeah, those three picks seemed very strong against everything that they brought. The Toxicroak, the Ludicolo, and the B-Barrel. Um, what's interesting is no Steelix. So I could actually choose to swap this up now. Um, I think our worst-case scenario would probably be Tentacruel. Um... But we didn't see it last time. I'm trying to figure out if Steelix does okay against Tentacruel, and I think it does. But Steelix is terrible against all three of those previous ones. Um, part of me thinks that maybe Skuntank has some play. I think Skuntank versus B Barrel, uh, Skuntank versus Steelix, Skuntank versus Ludicolo, it's all fine. And Flamethrower still threatens Toxic Croak, so I think overall it's pretty good. So. I think what I'm actually going to do is take a Golbat first. No, I'll actually take Shiftry first. And then we'll keep the Golbat as a wall to Toxicroak. Hmm. We're kind of weak to Toxicroak now, aren't we? Yeah, I think we just have to keep the Heracross. The most that we could do is potentially toss in the Skun Tank as a safe swap, but yeah, I don't I don't feel that that really needs to happen. So I'm just gonna switch up to a Golbat lead or maybe as a Shiftry lead. Yeah, we'll go Shiftry lead. Even though I think Shiftry's our best safe swap, so I'm really not sure why I'm leading with it other than I just think it's gonna work out. And I think in this case it will. We get to Leaf Blades incredibly fast. And Leaf Blades do, I think, a neutral amount of damage, which is pretty savage. Um, if this is an Earth Power, it's resisted. If it's a Dragon Claw, we don't die to it, so we're not going to shield. Okay, cool. Defense fell. I don't like that. Um, we're going to get this Leaf Blade out here and either get a shield or get a kill. This is probably a Dragon Claw coming through here. Uh, we're going to shield and then we actually probably need to switch and counter it down. Because we actually need to kill it before it gets to the next Dragon Claw. I don't actually think we would have hit the... Uh, I don't think we would have hit our um, stride there with the uh, next charge move because I think 
Um, unfortunately, Flygon actually generates energy slightly faster than uh, Shiftry does. So that's kind of what's rough about that. Um, this is fine. We actually generate energy faster than this Ice Beam, and I don't think there's a cheap remove Ludicolo has except Ice Beam. I think I think that the lowest amount of energy it can do is 55. So I think we just go for this sweet Megahorn here. Um, and I didn't really want to over farm it because I don't, I don't, I'm not super comfortable at like what Ludicolo's energy generation is. So um, we're just gonna do that. We didn't want to do the close combat because we don't want our defense lowered. And if this is like a B barrel or something, like then we kind of we're like looking okay from that. So we'll see what it is. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So let's see if we can get to the close combat in time. And we can. It's a 45 energy cost, and we generate energy faster than Water Gun does. So, um, and they're looking to go Surf, which is 40. So uh, basically, we always get to close combat before B barrel gets to Surf. Um, cause counter just does more, uh, energy gen. So, um, cool. We did two, uh, I'll just go ahead and ready up for a third and then we'll see what our opponent wants to, uh, wants to do about that. We'll bring in the Golbat as a lead. We're going to safe swap Shiftry like we kind of originally planned. Um, and then yeah, if we win or lose the lead here with Golbat, we'll kind of, uh, figure it out. Um... And yeah, it looks like we're doing a game three. Cool. I like game threes. Game threes are fun. Okay, so we're going to be resisting everything that Tentacruel has except Hydro Pump and potentially Blizzard, but I just don't think there's Blizzard. Like, something tells me that Tentacruels never have Blizzard. Okay, I don't think this can actually be a Hydro Pump, so I'm just not going to shield. Like, I was worried. I was like, is can it be a Hydro Pump? So I'm actually just going to toss a Poison Fang because I have like 100 energy and I kind of need to spend some of it. But yeah, our defense got lowered by two stages, which is uh, kind of rough. And then we are going to swap into uh, Shiftry to absorb the Mud Bomb. Oh, it's Sludge Bomb. Okay, we're dead. <laughs> All right, cool. Um... That's fine, like we cleared the uh, defense drop from the Golbat, so I think we can actually just kind of farm it down here. Um, this shouldn't KO whatever it is, so we don't need to shield it. And then we're going to double Shadow Ball. What Actually, we may not Shadow Ball. Kind of depends. Thanks, Battery Saber. It's really helpful. Yeah, we're going to double Shadow Ball the Steelix. Okay. Because I didn't want a Shadow Ball in case B-Barrel came in. Because uh, B-Barrel is normal and it double resists Shadow Ball. But we're okay just kind of like double Shadow Balling here. Hey, okay, cool. Um, so now we actually just punch the crap out of this thing. Okay, we're getting some lag I think on the last Pokemon. It's a weird glitch that's been happening now recently. Yep, and so we actually got hit the entire time. So you see how our health bar like teleported downwards? That means we were hit the entire time. I think the reason that happens is because, um, uh, I don't know, of some bullshit, really. Pretty much why that happens. Um, like I think it's when you're selecting your third guy and you're kind of like spamming it that I think that's when that occurs. But um, yeah, we are probably going to need to do a close combat. I don't think it'll kill the Tentacruel, because unfortunately it's poison type and it resists. Um, yeah, and then we're just going to die to like Acid Spray. So that was unfortunate for us. That's just a case of like the game totally screwed us over and it lets Deluxe get a kind of a monumental amount of energy, to be perfectly honest. So um, <clears throat> we're just going to ask for a rematch real quick. And... Um,
Okay, resending, cool. Well, hopefully Niantic can actually send us the invite. That would be great. And then, yeah, we'll just hang out and wait for that. Um, I mean, like, I'm I'm perfectly happy, like, losing. I just don't like losing when, like, my guy just kind of stood there and didn't do anything and then got hit with an entire charge move. Like, Heracross is missing, like, that much HP from Dragon Tail. Dragon Tail does not do a lot of damage. So, like, that that was, like... I think it's five Dragon Tails to even get Crunch. And I think there was even more there because... There was like two crunches in a row. So it was like 90 energy. So there's, and I think he got like a couple of dragon tails beforehand. So I don't know. I think that Steelix is rocking like a monumental amount of energy. So what, whatever. So we're just kind of waiting for this invite that Niantic refuses to send us, which is awesome. Yep. I'm just going to go ahead and send it. I can't trust Niantic to actually do the right thing ever. Um, like I like I don't know why. Okay, right, cool. So we'll just send it over. Um, we'll jump over and pick the uh, team we we're gonna do. Uh, I think it was a Golbat team, right? Yeah, I think it was this team right here. Golbat, and then I swapped to Shiftry accidentally um, against Toxicroak, which was kind of terrible. Um, yeah, that was just like a bad swap on my part, too. So, unfortunately, like, our opponent's going to be getting, like, a nice, like, a like a better advantage. Uh, or, sorry, I'm going to be getting an advantage because I'm actually going to do, like, a better swap and swap to, like, Heracross, probably. So I'm actually just going to toss the Shadow Ball because um, Tentacruel actually is just very hard for my team to damage in general. Like, it's, like getting damage on Tentacruel is very hard to do. Um, this can't be a Hydro Pump, but I actually realized it at the last second that it could be a Hydro Pump. So I don't know what the heck I was saying there. Um... Okay, and we're going to swap to Heracross and just get to punching. So we resist Crunch, and we resist Earthquake, so we actually don't need to shield here. That's totally fine. We need to save the Golbat for the Steelix. Or, sorry, we need to save Golbat for Toxicroak. Ooh. This Crunch is actually going to hurt as well, but I think we survive it, barely. Yep, then we get the close combat out. Um, and then I think we actually might be able to go for a second close combat against the next Pokemon, whatever it is. Okay, cool. So we're not going to take any chances. I, my defense was lowered and those Dragon Tails were starting to really like add up. So I was kind of just going to spam. Uh, normally I was thinking about countering down and then throwing close combat against the next one. But I think just gaining switch advantage is very important. Because we want Shiftry against Tentacruel, and we want Golbat against Toxicroak. It's just, like, very, very key for us to have that happen. Because we can just wall this Toxicroak, like, all day. Uh, I think the lag glitch is happening again. I actually think I'm being punched right now. And my health bar should go down. Yep, so there it is. Our opponent is not yielding. Our opponent's not, like, you know, being like, oh, you're lagging. Like, let me stop attacking. So, cool. Um, I think our Shiftry is going to die. And so that's awesome. And we can't do anything anymore. Again, we're just trying. Okay, we've again, we got attacked without being able to do anything. So just going to ask for a rematch again. Uh, can we rematch again? Same thing. Same issue. Sorry, this video, if this video is really like un underwhelming or you know whatever but um I, I mean like sorry i can't control the lag or the entertainment value of this but i feel like showing you just the entire duration of, of what's going on is helpful um so yeah and i'm just trying to think i'm just trying to think actually if if toxicroak switches in then I want Heracross. And if Steelix switches in, then I actually think I want Shiftry. Uh, 
I think that's kind of how I'd like to play it. And then we know that soon this can probably be a hydro pump. Hmm. I actually think we survive a hydro pump if it is a hydro pump, but I have a feeling that it was acid spray and I can't tell you why. So we resist everything but sludge bomb. I think we're going to have to shield this because I think it's a sludge bomb. Yep. Hey, okay, cool. Well, we saved a shield from like uh, correctly guessing the acid spray, so we kind of have a shield to like spare in this case. Um, let's get that full close combat going. Okay, nice shield. So our defense is actually lowered. This mud bomb could actually be our demise, which honestly seems fine in retrospect because we can actually come in with Golbat and finish it off with just wing attacks. So right here, we can actually just... Fucking thing! It happened again! I know it's happening right now. I know I'm being punched, and there's nothing I can do about it. See? Okay, now I'm actually attacking, and then her Toxic Croak's attacking, so... Or his Toxic Croak, or whatever. I don't know. So, we're both actually connected right now, and the glitch is no longer happening. But... I guess we need to communicate that. Not anymore. It's just initially when I switch in. Only happens sometimes. We're both able to play now. Yeah, this is a new glitch that's been, well, it's been happening more recently, but it's been in the game for like a month or so, ever since GBL came out. So, um, I don't know. I'm just yeah. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get punched and then throw a wing attack and kill the stupid thing. So because that's kind of what should have happened. So I actually don't think we're at too much of a disadvantage currently. I think things kind of look right. They look correct. So I'm gonna swap in shiftry here. And I still don't actually think so. That was a lot of lag, but then it actually caught up to all these leaf blades and shit. So I think it's okay. And I think what we're going to do is get a leaf blade out. And then we're going to farm up to two leaf blades for the tentacruel in the back. Because the tentacruel in the back actually, like, kind of bothers us. Um, this might be an earthquake, but it also might be a crunch. I think I'm going to shield either way. Because uh, earthquake does a lot of damage, even though it's resisted. Crunch is also resisted. Okay, so we have, like, I think maybe close to 100 energy. It's, it's, it's pretty close here. An 8% battery. Can we survive the lag? Ooh, this is just a crunch. We're going to survive it because we're shiftery and we resist things. That Steelix has to offer. Unless it's like Iron Head, then it'd just be crazy. But I think Steelix was already using crunch anyways. Um, I think we might still have close to two Leaf Blades banked. It's very close. I think, I think we're at like 60-something energy right now. Okay, so we'll get that off. So that's good. That was a um, our kind of final like leaf blade that we needed. And then what we want to do is switch right away and shadow ball like immediately. Dum 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 da da dum da dum. Come on, shadow ball immediately. What the heck? Get out here, dude. Go go gadget goal bat. Let's go. <laughs> Um, and then this should be enough to kill the tentacle because shields are down. So, um, yeah, I'm okay with that result. Like, I know I lagged. I know that my opponent had to, like, wait and make sure that I was still connected, which was great. Like, that, I actually feel like I didn't take as much damage as I could have. Uh, it looked like two or three counters to me, which is fine. And then I got a couple of wing attacks, which is fine. It's, like, it almost evened out. So, I'm okay with that result. Um, that looked about even from the results of the lag i'm cool with how it went down <laughs> if you are ggs either way 
Um, so our opponents had good games, which usually means they're kind of cool with the result. I'm kind of cool with the result. So I'm going to hit wins. Uh, I'm going to go with Toxicroak, Tentacruel. Tentacruel was such a good response. I don't think, I don't know if the Steelix was, but the Tentacruel was like a pretty big problem for us. And we have other stuff on our team that can deal with Tentacruel. We just didn't bring it because we, we just weren't seeing the Tentacruel, you know, and we weren't seeing the Steelix. And so, yeah, by the time our opponent kind of switched into that, I think it was like a little too, uh, uh, a little too late. But, um, yeah, same. GL with the rest. Cool. Well, all right. Um, so let's go ahead and report this match. This is our weighted cup, so we kind of just want some wins here. I wasn't trying to be cheesy or or, or, or dishonest or anything like that. It just seemed like I, I was at a pretty big disadvantage from those, you know, from those results. Like, it just seemed, like, really not fair to just get, like, to take, like, half of a half of a fight and, like, to not be able to participate in it. Um, to, like, not be able to do any moves whatsoever. It wasn't just that I was, like, throwing moves and I was lagging. Because that actually happened. There was, like, a... There was that time where, like, Shiftry was kind of, like... Um, where, like, Shiftry was lagging and Steelix was lagging. But the game kind of, like, caught up. It was, like, Leaf Blade. Like, it was, like, a bunch of energy. And you could see Steelix catching up as well. So the game is actually really good at rubber banding those kinds of things. When there is lag, it sort of figures out, like, how much moves should have happened and credits it to everyone what it doesn't do is when it desyncs like that when you when you i notice the glitches when you die and then you select a new pokemon to come in and you start spamming your screen i think that's where the glitch happens so i think i'm going to try and select the pokemon and then just not press anything until i'm like in there and then start pressing things i think that might help reduce the glitch but yeah i'm hoping you guys don't have to deal with that that would be really frustrating because you could see it was frustrating for me but uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next game. Bye.